Hello and welcome to Board Stupid. My name's Wayne. And I'm Matt. And you know what time it is. It's, it's time, time for the Hype Factor. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the Hype Factor. The July 2024 edition. July, we are over halfway through the Ooh. year and yet there are still games being announced for this year. Well, our list like, is probably will never managed it's to cover all the games, but we're trying to pick the each month the our favorite one that we are the most hyped for. Yes. But there are so many, even in today's list, we were fighting a, about a couple of games, but five games, that's the rule. Five games each month that we are really hyped about. That are coming out this year, at least according to the publishers. Well, that's what they say at least, but Absolutely. we don't take any responsibility for that. No, we don't. But what no. we do take responsibility for is getting you to click the subscribe button. Yes, because we're taking responsibility for bringing you a lot of content. You take responsibility, so click this big button and uh, we all Show us that you care, yeah, yeah, show us that you care. And because you care, as we like to say, we have a gift for you a in the form. A little, well, it's actually it's not a little, it's a big, it's, it's a, a big, big gift. gift. It's a big gift. We got you a 10% discount at our friends at Into the AM. So go down in the description, check the link, and that will bring you to the Into the AM page where you can find tons and tons of super amazing clothing. So Beautiful clothing. if you are looking for new graphic t-shirts or from leisure clothing, if you need to have a new, I don't know, you got a new job and you want to dress up to impress, yeah, go, go get into the AM. And our magic link is extra special because it gives you a 10% discount on top of any other discount you can find in the store, yeah, and on top are, of sale items, yeah. on top of two for three or three for two, whatever. There are like, always more discounts on the website. Absolutely. We're giving you a little bit more extra. So it's a 10% on top extra, of right. everything there. So definitely go treat yourself. Let's get hyped, baby. Woo! All right, we start with the first one on this list. And this time we're talking about Mushrooms. Magic mushroom. No, 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 not magic mushrooms. Normal mushrooms. Normal mushrooms. They do magic things, but Absolutely. normal mushrooms. Normal yeah. mushrooms. Family show. This game <laughs> is called Mycelia. No, not that Mycelia. No, not the other Mycelia. This is this the, is the, the best Mycelia. The best Mycelia. This is the, the best, best Mycelia. Of them. This is Mycelia 2024 release, as seen on Board Game Geek, uh, and it is a wonderful game with. Beautiful artwork by Splitstone Games, designed by Jack uh, Neville, JJ Neville. And Jack is the same one that is behind the idea of the game, is behind all the research because he's a very mushroom nerd, as he told us. He's a us. mushroom nerd, yeah. And um, he's behind all the, like, the supervising all the artworks. It's, all the game has been done in the family. He came out on Kickstarter, I believe, a year ago yeah. now, and he literally exploded and uh, it's gonna be delivered to the packers in the next month or two. Maybe and, this year for sure. Uh, and September, October, the game will be on the shelves of your favorite uh, board game shop. We got a sneaky preview of this and we got to play it with Jack and my goodness, it's, it's very good. And we're not biased just because he's our neighbor, but uh, it's a it's fantastic, fantastic good. strategy games uh, where you got all the cycle <laughs> of the mushrooms. Uh, you basically need to um, grow your mushroom, decay the mushrooms. It and has spores uh, which go out which yeah, then spread out to spread other areas. Spores and there is this amazing um, wind dice that you're gonna use and the winds is gonna tell you where your spores for that specific mushrooms are gonna add up to. Uh, there is a board that is a modular so you will be um, you, you can actually add pieces to the to the board and uh, exploring mm. new territories. Uh, it's highly strategic it's um, very simple as, as the rules. You got a couple of things that you need to mm -hmm. learn, but it's not that complicated, but it's a heavily strategic game. Absolutely. So if you're a fun guy, <laughs> check out my studio. <laughs> No, check out Mycelia because it's great. Not as Wayne's like, jokes, but Mycelia. <laughs> and next up, Matt, we've got a release for one of our favorite games that was Released yeah. in the past year, and one that recently... Well, recently we're talking about two days ago... Won the Spiel des Jahres. Yes, and we're talking about Sky Team. Of course. Um, so the guys took the 
took the ball at the right time straight after winning the spiel the yard so big big deal for them first to play a game to ever, ever win, win the, award. the award so Huge deal. amazing uh well they told us that they got an expansion coming out that is sky team turbulence that is gonna add 20 more scenario to the base game wow and it's gonna add a few more module to the to the game uh, such as like turbulence uh, alarms low visibility. and uh, low visibility so it's going to add more complexity and again um, i'm expecting that for this to be then uh, um, compatible with all the other ones so you can still mix and match all the all the module that you got in the game if you want to make it super difficult but i'm super excited about it and yeah. you know what is the thing that i'm very excited about they're not coming with another box with with components it's one it looks like a literally like a sleeve um something like a, a, a magic or pokemon card booster pack oh like a booster like pack that. yeah so the it's, super cool. it's interesting and i really like it because it's very um, um aware of like not not having the people to buy an expansion more for more money than what they need yeah so not another box another component it just like it's the basic stuff just take so that and put it in well the box done. that exists we still don't know what the price is going to be but i'm not expecting this to be expensive at all i think no. it's going to be under the 10 pounds that's my prediction you reckon under yeah. 10 pounds i think maybe 10 to 15 pounds is what i think but this is super exciting to bolt onto what was already an amazing experience yes. Uh, so again, congratulations once again to the Scorpion Mask for the Spieldish RS win, and we can't wait to bolt on Turbulence. Absolutely. To Sky Team. Right, we go for the next one. It's another two-player game, and it's, it's, it's a spin-off of a, of a more famous two-player game. It's one of our favourite games, actually. Yeah, absolutely, and that is Everdell. The original Everdell is one of my favorite games. Yep. Tremendous game, by the way. And the very, very hot news. But this is literally like 48 hours, 48 hours old. Yeah. news as of the day of us recording this. Uh, Everdell Duo. And Everdell Duo. Duo. Duo in the two player <laughs> version. And this seems really fun, Matt. This yeah. looks like a almost a slightly more streamlined version of Everdell, yeah. which does many of the same things. So you're using your workers to collect resources, use those resources to play cards either from your hand or from mm -hmm. the meadow, uh, trying to get the most successful woodland city and have the most points that way. This does a couple of extra things as well, right? Yeah, um, the very particular of these things is like you play, uh, you can play one versus one, so as yeah. the original game, yeah. uh, or you can play cooperatively and uh, having, you, you're gonna have scenarios different chapters to try and, and you need to check do. you need to try to achieve a certain number of points at the end and it sounds like brilliant one game that it can be cooperative or one versus one and at the same build as a smaller version of uh, everdell take my money yeah it's like take my money <laughs> yeah it plays within 30 to 40 minutes apparently um, and again, like the original game, plays over four seasons, uh, and then you add your score to determine the winner. With a very interesting mechanism here about being having a sun and a moon. Oh program, yeah, where those tokens will move around to different cards, and you can only buy the cards that have those tokens on yeah. if you're buying from the middle. That's that's really really interesting yeah. against the creative dynamics. But I think especially for the one versus one at that yeah. point, you start probably changing what your opponent yeah. can buy, yeah, yeah, yeah. which could be a very interesting um, choice. Yeah. Again, yeah. Um, what you want my money is it is yeah, just go this is gonna go straight into my collection because it's i know i, I love we love everdale yeah 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 and a two player uh, version would be great yeah, yeah absolutely so yeah. everdale duo 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 okay um off we go with the fourth one on our list and um is go always believe <laughs> But this is a river. A river of a gold. A river of gold. gold. River of gold. Looks absolutely tremendous. This is shot right up the hotness rankings on Board Game Geek and immediately into my eye line. And I went, Matt, this looks like a nice midweight euro I'm interested in. <laughs> so it's, it's a euro. So, yeah, of course, <laughs> Wayne went all lean on but, it. But, yeah. But I showed Matt and he went, yeah, that does look it's, very, it's, it does look very it looks, pretty. It looks amazing. It looks very pretty, to be fair. So, in River of Gold, players will take on the role of river merchants. Uh, allied with legendary samurai clans. Samurai! Yes, samurai. Uh, each vying to exploit the river of gold to earn wealth, glory and wisdom. So this is a worker placement game with an open market and some sort of dice 
uh, dice mechanisms as well. Um, and then it has sort of end game bonuses and contracts that you need to complete. So, but the thing about this game that really stands out is just the production looks phenomenal. Yeah. Um, it has this wonderful embossed gold look. Um, it just looks stunning. And it, it, looks, it, absolutely it, look, it looks amazing. Gorgeous. Um, it doesn't sound anything, uh, again, this is the information that, that we got at the moment. It sounds very much right like, right like a, a Euro game. Um, this is an Asmodi a new a studio. A new Asmodee studio, yeah. yeah. So I'm expecting the game to be good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not expecting so. I'm expecting a solid Euro game at the lowest, at the, yeah. at the bare minimum, but the production looks amazing and I like shiny shiny, so yeah, you <laughs> got me. Super shiny, you got me. You got me, definitely. This is really shiny shiny. <laughs> Real shiny. Yeah, so apparently it has minimal downtime, big tick, plays in about an hour, another big yeah. tick. So um, apparently easy to learn, intuitive rules. So I look and forward. It's, and it's Japan, so Japan. medieval Japan. Exactly. Yeah. Bit of yeah. That is literally like ticking tick, 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 a lot tick. of boxes. Absolutely, so we're super excited to see this when it comes out, so hopefully we'll get a go of it as soon as we can. River of Gold. Gold. Always <laughs> and finally, we have a game that is initially a massive red flag, if you've seen our red flags video, but because it's a video game IP, Matt, but it is a great video game IP. Oh my god, if they ruin this one, I'm going to be really, <laughs> really upset, but what I'm really hyped about it because, of course, we're talking about Metal Gear. And it's finally... Snake. Arriving. Snake. Yes, it's, it's finally, finally arriving. arriving. It's coming. It was um, supposed to come out 2023. Uh, we saw something at Spiel last October. It was set up. It looked really nice and everything. Uh, Simon then went pretty quiet about it. Uh, but it's coming retail uh, in the next few months. So mm -hmm. hopefully before Christmas, we're gonna we're gonna have it on the table again. It's a um, um, Mission based, scenario based, kind of like dungeon crawling, yeah. uh, with a send, they promise a sandbox experience. So, as in every single Metal Gear, you need to go from here to here, you, you choose how. You choose how, yeah. I know. Do you want to play stealth? Do you want to go gun blazing? Do you want to take this route or, or the other? It's all up to you. And this is based on the very first Metal Gear, that's probably. One yeah. of our favorite uh, it's games. It's fantastic, yeah. Sneaking through Shadow Moses. Uh, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snake. 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 Yeah, uh, fantastic. It's like a fully cooperative game, uh, miniatures based board game as well. So, like, say, yeah. um, scenario campaign. Uh, and you take on the role of Solid Snake, Meryl Silverberg, Dr. Hal, Otacon, Emmerich, and Grey Fox, the cyborg ninja. And you use all of your individual skill sets. Great Fox was my favorite. He was great. To avoid detection and complete objectives. So you're all going to have individual powers and you're going to be yeah. working together to try and get through each scenario. Um, and I love the idea of this open sandbox way of completing missions. I think that's a tremendous thing. Yeah, I can't wait I, to give that a go. I just want to understand how the... Because um, the, the game can be solo or can be co cooperative. Um, I'm, I'm just like... I'm going to be really curious to see how the co-op works. Because it's, again, Metal Gear... You want to be Snake, and you yeah. want to, and you want to do this. This is what Snake does. Yeah. Um, so I'm really curious to actually see what the uh, having more information. Because Oscon's normally on the on the mic, right? yeah, so exactly. he could be doing some. I don't know. There could be something around that. I don't, yeah, we'll we'll see. I'm very yeah. excited. Yeah. How to do, are you going to do the cigarettes with the laser? Do you actually smoke the cigarettes and, and blow it on the board? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> to see the laser come. Is he going to come with a pack of cigarettes? Yeah, probably maybe. Yeah. Not... Or an electronic laser. Yeah. System. I don't know. Well, right, probably not. But designed by Emerson Mitsuchi, the genius behind games like the Century series, Foundations of Rome, and more importantly, and I think more relevant to this game, Spectre Ops. Mm. Uh, that is yeah. kind of bad in that side. Which I think so, is, yeah. is very important and I think will give us a little bit of a flavor. Uh, yeah. So I'm incredibly excited. Emerson's an amazing designer, so this is uh, an exciting release. Again, red flags for me, but at the same time, a massive, massive hype. Factor. So those were our picks for July's High Hi Factor. factor. <laughs> that was a good one. This was a really, was really like a good, good one. one. This yeah, was a yeah, really yeah. good one. But please do let us know what do you think? What was your favourite pick of these five yeah. games? Yeah, let us know. Uh, let us know in the comments below. And have you seen the rest of the series? You should go check out the last few that we've done. 
uh, playlist up here. Please do go check those out. Some of those games are out already, but some of them still aren't. Yeah, and, uh, I think actually the majority are still... Still waiting to come yeah, out. Probably yeah. will be around Spiel. Yeah, uh, that's normally the that's case. what normally happens. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And if you want to get hyped, what do they need to do? Well, hit the subscribe slash hype button. Because every time you press the subscribe button, we get hyped. We get hyped. And you get hyped. Everyone gets and hyped. And then everybody gets hyped. And you can find out whenever... We, we release new content, or most of all, makes us happy it to know that happy. we got a new member that's joining the Bull Stupid family. Absolutely, we love that. So why not share some happiness? And while you're sharing happiness, remember to hit the like button, check out the rest of our videos, and we'll catch you again real soon. Ciao.